You can guess what it is. Can you guess what that is? Right there. This is an elementary school here in Billings that was established in 1906. It's the McKinley School. You know what it is? The older people on this channel who view this channel will know what it is. That, my friends, is a fire escape. That floor down, and you come right out that door, you see it's permanently closed now. Well, we're staying here at the Billings Village RV Park. Kind of a tongue twister there. My kind of. Take a look at this apple tree. Must be 10 million apples on that thing. Let's take a look at the park. One of the things we noticed right away is the all this area out here for staging. And that's important for this RV park because there are no pull-throughs. It's all back in. There's 75 sites. You're pulling a trailer, a toad. You're going to have to unhook and back in. No big deal. These people just came in right there. Look at this rig. <laughs> Hell, he can go anywhere in that. <laughs> this RV park, $66 a night. And if you're a good sound military or AAA, you get 10% off. And, but we here, when we stay, we stay for a week at a time, and it's $300 a week. That's pretty neat. Kind of a different RV park here. People tend to keep to themselves here. Really interesting. Each RV park has its own personality. One of the great things about this RV park is it's open all year round. But this park is simply located in Billings, and you're only an hour or two away from a lot of things. Custer's Last Stand, Yellowstone. The northeast entrance is the closest one to us. You're close to the Beartooth Drive. That's been deemed by Charles Corralt as the most beautiful drive in America, and it sure is. I've got a video we made on that. It's a wonderful video, my best video, actually. Anyway, this is us right here. I do want to show you something kind of rednecky. Yeah. I'm going to show you something here. You see, I put this window air conditioner there. Yeah, I know what it looks like. You can hear it running. But man, that's our bedroom. And we sleep like little babies in there with that on. It frees you out. Not only that, but it run off solar. You see, I've got solar on top. Well, I've been out in the middle of the desert, running an air conditioner out in the middle of the desert. And that's what you can do if you got 1,800 watts on the roof. Uh, I'll get up there and show you a minute, but you can run that air conditioner. we got a, a all-electric water heater, all-electric refrigerator. Run it right off solar. On the roof, and you can see our solar panels. Actually, 1,770 watts here. Let me talk to you about solar just a minute. Right here, I got three arrays. One, two, three. And those solar panels up there feed these charge controllers. I got two of them off because you don't want to be charging when you're not using them. I'm hooked up to shore power right now. And they charge... These Battleborn batteries, 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries. I got four of them, so that's 400 amp hours, which equals 4,800 watts in the bank. Anyway, when we leave here on Friday, we're going to be, we got scheduled three days of boondocking. Cindy does all the scheduling of where we're going to stay, but she always picks nice places. Here's something that's come and gone during our lifetime. No tell when that was put there. This one doesn't work though. What, 60s, 70s? No telling. Oh boy. Well. Happy at the park. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's Sunday. People out having fun. Park. Got a swimming pool over there. More tennis courts. 
Let's move over here. I think we got a crab apple tree here. You think it's a crab apple? I think it's low. I think it's crab apple, yeah. It's real nice. <laughs> Hello. How are you today? Hey, far. It goes way on out over there. Way, way far. Wow. Must be 100 acres. All right. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Here it is Sunday and no one's playing tennis. You know why, don't you? The heat. <laughs> Billings, Montana. These people have a view and a half. Don't they? Right up here. Look at this. Building's on the uh, National Register. Built in 1884. 1884, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that something? <laughs>